Y'all have been loving the fishing for giant bass and small pond videos, so we are back at it with another one. But today, it is with swim baits. I went to a pond that I haven't been to in three years, and boy, did we smack the bass. You're on private property, that's all. There we go, boys. It's a nice one. Yeah, there we go, boys. Oh, it's a nice one. Let's go. Oh, oh, God, giant, giant. Dude, right under the bridge. Look at that. Today we're fishing for giant bass with swim baits and small ponds just like this one. This is where we're starting off today. We got our mock shad right here. One of my favorite little swim baits, very versatile. You can catch a ton of fish on it, big ones and small ones. That's what I love about this. Got a beautiful paint job on it. This one actually has some green on top, some pearl white on the bottom and the sharp hooks as usual on the bait. I got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV X Lose combo. If you guys wanna check these out, kickingtheirbass.com. I have it linked down below. And also with the mock baits, I have my discount code. I'll pop it up on the screen. But let's go ahead and get started and uh, see if we can catch some fish in this pond on the old mock shad. I think we're gonna get smashed today, guys. I'm excited about it. This isn't the only pond that we're gonna fish today, by the way. We're gonna go to a bunch of different ones, but this is just where we're starting off at. The last couple big bass videos in small ponds, we've caught some big bass, but we've had to work for them. Maybe today it'd be different. Maybe we'll just end up smoking them everywhere we go. I got so much confidence in this mock shad, and uh, I know we're going to get some big ones on it, especially when the sun goes down. We only have a couple hours today of bass fishing. I don't have like a whole day as far as the other episodes have gone, but maybe that's going to be even better for this episode. Maybe we're going to catch them at the hot time. Just smoke a ton of fish. It's actually a pipe right here that I've never seen before. Might get lucky right here. Like a big one could be sitting out in front of that pipe. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could, take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. I just got destroyed. Oh my gosh. Slammed the back of it, just didn't get the hook there. Let's see if we can get him to come back. Wow. Oh my gosh, come on now. Guess we got some activity early. Wow, just straight up swirled on it. Felt him just tap the back end of it, he just didn't commit. over the tree branch and I'm freaking hooked it. That is the worst case scenario right now, boys. Oh my gosh. Exactly what I didn't want. You know what sucks is this would be so easy to get, but this tree fell. So it just totally, I didn't, I didn't even realize this tree was falling over here. Dude, come on. Did it come off? Oh my God, it came off. Thank God. Make sure we're good here. Yeah, we're set, man. That could have been very bad. Well, now there's definitely not a fish on that tree. <laughs> so it has been a couple years since I've been out to this pond and it used to be really good, but they actually drained this place. And when they were draining it, I actually came out and fished it. It still caught a few fish, but I want to say a ton of fish died. And I don't really know what that means for this place. I just haven't came back and fished it ever since they drained it because I just assumed, you know, hey, the fish are done here. Let's hope that there's still some good bass in here and maybe uh, the population's back up to how it used to be. What was that? Was he coming after me? Oh, dude, he freaking boiled right up on the bank. That's a good sign. That had to have been a fish. What else that could have been? Okay, we saw some activity. That's important. One just swam off the bank, I'm pretty sure. That's a dang bed. And that's a fish on bed. And I had a fish. What? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's pause for a minute. I had a fish trying to eat me the whole time as I'm distracted by this other fish. Hold on, boys. 
That fish is on bet. Dude, he just put it in his mouth. Here we go. Here's the first fish. Here's a dang bad fish with a mock shot. <laughs> what is going on? Are we going to actually find these fish on bed? It's awesome to see them. Reproducing. Where'd he go? Is he still, you know, he's still there. Now he's just iffy on me, he sees me. We're gonna keep on going, guys. That fish is pretty small. It ain't like he's big, but that is insane to see a fish on bed right now. I haven't seen a fish on bed in probably a month. Oh, oh no, I missed him. I missed him. I knew they're in this corner. I watched this boil come up. Maybe he'll bite it again. I'm swimming off the bank up there. What we got? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go, boys. Oh, it's a nice one. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Let's freaking go. Mock shad, baby. Let's get it. Look at that. That's a healthy fish. Oh, dude, it's on, boys. It is on. Look at how he ate that thing, too. Beautiful fish. Wow. This is about to be good. <laughs> that is an awesome sign right there. He missed it the first time. He came back. He really wanted it. All right, fish, I need you to come off so we can keep catching them. Oop. I'll take one hug off. The other one goes in. There we go. Beautiful one right there. Two and a half pounder and about a one pound frame. That's insane. Thank you, buddy. What a start, boys. It's about to go down. Get ready. Prepare yourselves. So we've got to get another one here. I feel it. I saw some bait running this bank. That's right when I threw this in and instantly I saw a big boil behind it. So right when you throw this bait out there, if you reel it in pretty fast, you can see the ripple. And then if a bass starts tailing it, you can just see, you can see his whole V line coming up behind the bait. It's just so fun, man. Oh, oh my gosh, I got drilled. I had him hooked too. Gosh, boys, we gotta we gotta quit messing up. I'm not paying attention. Let's see if we can give him a bite again. I'm not totally bummed out that we missed these fish. A couple of them, we definitely should have landed. What's that? Can I help you? May I help you? You're on private property. That's all. Okay, I can walk on down. I'm gonna go that way on the other side where there's no houses. Okay, but don't bother the nesting. No, I want it all. I'll walk wide so I can get away from them. Oh my God. There we go, boys. It's a nice one. Oh my gosh, he choked it too. Get him off the hook. I'm gonna walk on down by this other side of the pond. Look at how he ate that thing, man. Oh my goodness. That one totally crushed it right there look at that one that's another good little two and a half pounder there that's a beautiful one he actually ate it out in the middle oh that's beautiful nice boys all right so we're gonna walk down and get out of these people's way we're gonna go down to the other side of this pond there's no houses or anything stay out of people's way we're on board this pond is hot too right now i'm actually gonna walk on this other side to where i can get away from the house this lady just got she acted a little upset but she was being a little extra there. <laughs> I'm gonna respectfully walk on. I've actually fished this pond for years, guys. It's probably been about six years now that I've been fishing this pond. I never really have any problems. I might have once or twice, maybe one time before, um, but they ended up being really cool. But uh, I'm gonna get out of this person's way so I don't upset them. <laughs> Last thing I wanna do is have a situation and then I can't come back here. And you know how that goes, boys. So we're gonna get out of their way. She came off a little, a little crazy though. Just a little crazy. It's all right. We'll walk away from the situation and we're gonna keep on smacking the bass. That is our plan today. Listen, we ain't gonna get upset. We ain't gonna get all crazy. We're gonna stay positive, keep a good attitude and we're gonna keep on catching them. And I'm so excited about this pond. This is just, this is so exciting for me guys. I haven't been here in years. I thought this pond was just done, honestly. And to catch two fish that were like two and a half pounds, that is the sign that we need that there's some big bass in here. This looks even better. 
I don't even need to be on that side of the pond now. So one thing that actually came out of that lady coming out in her backyard was I caught a fish during that whole scenario, okay? And I want you guys to understand the reason I caught that fish. So I threw out in the middle just like that. I wasn't burning it. You know, this whole time I've been working it pretty fast. If I can remember correctly, I was turned around slightly reeling this bait. And that's when I got the fish to bite. So maybe we slow this thing down. Maybe that's what we've been missing this whole time. We might have just been reeling it a little too aggressive for today. Oh my god. Oh, it's a monster. Boys, we got a monster on. Let's get it. This is the size that we want. Oh yeah, let's get it, boys. Mock Shad putting in the work. Oh my goodness. Come here, baby. Get you out of the mud. Oh, let's get it. Solid three pounder. That is a start, man. I thought she was like four freaking pounds hopping out of that water, but I'll take her. Oh, good, healthy bass, man. Oh my goodness. This pond is back home, boys. It's back home, man. Look at that. We took that advice that we got earlier. Oh my God, that could have been, that could have been horrible. Matter of fact, that could have been not the move, okay? We're gonna get this fish back in the water. Solid, girthy three pounder. Beautiful fish. It's the size we want. That's the size, well actually what we really want is in five plus pounders. But I will take some three pounders all day long to work up to that giant. If you guys have noticed anything with these fishing for giants and small pond videos, we have just had to work our way up the ladder. You know, we stay positive, we stay confident, and it ends up happening. We just gotta sometimes be patient. And today's one of those days. We might just have to be patient, keep casting. We caught a couple two and a half pounders and then a three pounder. Now it's about our time for about a four pounder, and then we can work to that five, six, seven pounder range. You just gotta keep being patient. It's gonna happen. These fish are in here. They seem to be biting. They're liking what I'm putting down with the swim bait. I think we're gonna catch a ton. Oh, he's big, 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 dude. Oh my gosh. I can't tell how big this fish is, but he's large. I think I got him hooked weird, swimming at me. Oh my gosh, he's not even that big. I have him on top of the head. That fish seemed huge. There he is. All right, buddy, you can go, you can go. There you go, self-release. <laughs> dude, I thought that was a tank. That fish felt monstrous between the boil I should have thought something was up, you know, with him not coming to the top of the water and not being able to see him. Oh man, that's funny. He sure felt big though. I know you guys are laughing at me right now. No, you always freaking out over two pound fit. Listen, man, I just love it, dude. I get excited, okay? If you ain't getting excited while fishing, I don't know what to tell you. I just love it, guys. I get happy, I get excited, you know? Sometimes I get a little overexcited, but it's okay, man. At least I'm doing it for a good reason. By the way, boys, I am going to keep the volume a little low. Oh my goodness, man. That was a small one. Not big at all. It was like a pound and a half, if that. Should be one in that little pocket. It looks so good. Oh, and he just came up. Oh, come on, dude. He is not committing. Oh my gosh, what are these fish doing? Some of them are just choking it completely, and some of them are just swirling on it. So that's a fish that should bite again, technically, if he's interested enough. I didn't stick him, he didn't get, get the bait in his mouth at all, it just kind of showed himself. Oh, another one right there. Oh my gosh, dude, what is going on? Just literally when I paused it, he ate it. When I started reeling it, it just spooked him off. Oh, 
Oh, dude, I watched him eat it. Oh, my God. <laughs> Guys, these fish are so healthy. This is just unbelievable here, the bite that we're getting on. Oh, my gosh. Okay, buddy, calm down. And the crazy part about it, they're smoking this mock shad in this pond, guys, but we have a different pond that we're gonna hit after this. And I'm gonna try to time it right when the sun's going down. I think it could be definitely something to it to catch some big fish. There we go. Another solid, like two, two and a half pound bass. Pretty man. Thank you, buddy. I literally watched that one eat it. That's the cool thing about the swim bait fishing. You know, topwater fishing is so excited because you can see it. But with this mock shad, you guys have to go get one just to see the movement of it. But the, the slitherness through the water just looks so good. Maybe I can put it here. I don't know if you guys could see that. Let's see. It just looks beautiful. And uh, I was reeling it back. And right when I paused it, you could just see that bass just dive over it. It looks so awesome. This water's fairly clear in here. It's good to see the water visibility get better too. When they drained this pond, it was literally, yeah, it was orange, guys. The water was so nasty and dirty. I don't know how they got this pond back up and going, but uh, whoever did, I congratulate them because they turned this place around. Come on, big bass. Let's do it. He was literally, oh my gosh. Dude, that fish was literally putting it in his mouth. I couldn't feel it. If it wasn't for me looking at that fish with my eyes, I would have never knew he bit my bait. Dude. Oh my gosh, man. These fish are acting so weird. Looks like a bat right there. Oh my gosh, I literally landed on his head and he just ate it. That was so sick. He is not big at all, but that was awesome. Such a freaking cool bite right there. To be honest, I thought I was stuck on grass. I mean, the bait landed, I pulled it off the grass and then it was just, in, he was instantly on there. He didn't give me a second to do anything. I was just straight up hook setting him. Thank you for the bite, buddy. You're not big. You're definitely our smallest one today, but I'll appreciate the nibble. If there's a definition of a nibble on a swim bait today, that's probably it. There you go. <laughs> we have just done it all. Nothing makes sense. Cannot believe we're catching them on bed too. That's so sick. That's the hard part with today too. It's kind of cloudy out. It's not sunny, so it's hard for me to see all these spots. I can't really lay an eye on all these areas or any of these beds. Like I might be able to see them if they're really glowing. Other than that, it's really hard for me to see. Oh. Is that a good one? Nice. Not bad. Oh. Look at this fish. He's just the jumpiest one. <laughs> Let's go. We're just going to keep it cranking, boys. Look at how he ate it. See, he wanted it. And they eat it like that and they got both hooks in their mouth and you got that mock shadow just hanging out that's how you know they want it this guy he was not playing around it feels like these small ones are just so much more aggressive they're trying to get fat they're trying to get up they're trying to get like the grown-ups out in this pond he's probably a little bit bigger than the last one just because of the the fat belly on him but he ain't much to show thank you for biting that keep it rolling keep it rolling before they drain this pond i would only catch fish in specific areas of this pond now i feel like i'm catching fish all over which it could be because they're pushed up right now you know that could be definitely one of the reasons but at the same time i just feel like i'm catching fish where i would have never caught fish before before they drain this place if anybody knows much about draining ponds and uh bringing it back from that i'm telling you i need to try to go find some pictures i have a video of us fishing this place when it was drained and it was honestly sad man because i knew how good of a fishery this place was and i thought it was done forever oh big one. that's a big one. that's the biggest one today boys oh my god he steamrolled past that bank to get that fish. 
Come on, Bubba. He's our second biggest. He ain't our biggest. Oh, that's a nice one. Good. Good stuff right there. <laughs> oh, man. That fish is almost three pounds. He ain't as big as that three pounder we caught in that corner, but he's up there. He's got such a skinny body, or he's got such a long body, but his whole body's not filled out. I'm going to show you guys here. See, this one ate it. He wanted it. He went after it. So if you guys notice, super fat belly, pretty decently sized head there. And then he's got a little bit of lacking weight in his tail. But still a good fish overall. This is our second, second biggest today. Very heavy. Wish you guys could feel this fish. Definitely three pound fish in a two pound body with how fat he is. There he goes. Man, we just can't stop. Just throw him parallel with that bank. That's all that was. Very simple. And that's one thing guys when you're coming down to ponds like this just throw a parallel with the bank that's one thing that you can do to catch a lot more fish it doesn't really matter the time of year i always always try it there's a lot of points where those fish are going to be out in the middle you know whether it's summertime or whether it's in the winter and they're getting in those little crevices and drop offs of the pond but for the most part something i always do it doesn't matter what time of year i'm fishing is walking and casting and throwing parallel. So what I mean by that is I'm parallel with the bank right here. I'm just throwing a cast down it. So pretty much you're in the strike zone the whole time. A majority of these fish today have came up shallow between five and 10 foot off the bank. So pretty much that seven foot cast right there off the bank is pretty much the strike zone that I've noticed. Obviously certain areas of this pond, I'm gonna fish a little deeper, like back in that pocket and then out in the main water out here. And uh, we're obviously going to catch a lot of fish, but one thing to do is just always walk and cast for a parallel. Don't miss these opportunities. Hi. How are you? Kind of yes, ma'am. It's bass. Oh, it is? Okay. Yeah, they're that just... Really yeah, no, it wasn't a bad one. Um, I caught one that was a little bigger. Oh, really? But, yeah. No, there's some good ones. I know they drained this place, you know, a couple years back, and... I didn't know if it was gonna, you know, mess with the fishing because I've been fishing here for a long time, but they're still good. They're healthy. I'm not that laughing. Yeah, no, he was. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. You have a good night. What a kind lady. It's just crazy, guys, the, the, the opposites of people you'll see. I know everybody's different, but. And I, I mean, I totally understand some people not wanting me to fish near their house. Like, I totally get it. Like, I'm so with them on that. But at the same time, you know, I do this for a living. This is what I'm going to do. I'm trying not to bother anybody. Oh, my dude, right under the bridge. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is awesome. Not a big one by any means, but a pretty one. Wow. It's a little pounder. Definitely a downsize from the last one but still a pretty fish there we go boys not much to show but a fun fight that was cool what's that oh i just let him go oh i could have grabbed him yeah it was just a little bass yeah it's amazing how many there are in here there's so many i'll tell you I, i've fished it a lot over the last how are y'all i know they drained the pond a few years back remember when they did that and it worried me because I was like, I don't know if the fish would survive that. But it, <laughs> let me tell you, they seem like they're almost. I would never eat anything out of here. Yeah, I wouldn't either. I saw you lying there and I saw him hit it. Yeah, no, that was neat. I might be able to get another one here. They're biting really good. Look at that, boys. I'm getting these casts perfectly on this other side of the bank. I'm just gonna coast him in. He choked it. See, that's exactly how one should eat it. This ain't even a big one. See, this is the one fish that's actually... Yeah, this one's a little smaller. No, he ate it really good though. A little skinnier, you know? He's not, he's not as big as the last one. Yeah. He looks healthy. Yeah, no, he's still healthy. Yeah. I will say a lot of the other ones were fatter better than this one but a uh, pretty one very pretty yeah cool. there he goes 
All right, guys, we're going off to the other side of the pond and we're going to fish for just a little bit longer in this place. I'm actually going to save it for another episode because I want to come out here with some different baits. I think we can really put in some work. Not saying the mock shad can't catch them because we're smoking them. They're just eating it. They're tearing it up. But um, met a couple awesome people over there. Super nice, super kind. And uh, just out here enjoying life, guys. Enjoying some fishing. It's a beautiful day to be outside and that's what it's about. Um, we're going to go ahead and throw a few more casts over here, though, before we head off to this next spot. Let's try to get one giant before we leave here. I know we can do it. Oh my gosh. Oh, he came out of the pipe. He came out of the pipe. Watch this, watch this, watch this. He's right on it. Oh my God, he just freaking ate my tail, bro. Oh my God. I wish you guys could see this. I'm watching this fish just play with this bait. Oh man, he came right out of that pipe. We gotta be careful, guys. One thing that I don't like, you guys already know what I don't like. I'm not even gonna mention. We just got a tiny bit of daylight left, so I'm actually going to take it over to this other pond in the hopes that we're going to get something pretty large on this. I think we could continue fishing this pond and catch a good bit of fish, but I kind of want to go try a new place. You know, I don't want to stay in the same pond the whole night. As the sun's going down for this last 30 minutes, I think this other pond could produce a really big one. I think the big ones will start roaming up shallow here as we speak right now. And, uh, Man, I think we're going to end up catching a giant, guys, so stay tuned. All right, guys, you know where I'd be. Be back at the old juice hole. We've been killing them in this pond. I wanted to come back just for the afternoon bite because I feel like that's when this place heats up. Oh, my God, that was a huge boil, bro. I might be able to catch this fish. Oh, my gosh. That was quick, man. Oh, my goodness. That was so fast. All right, boys, I'm excited about this. We just gotta capitalize. That's all we gotta do. And I got him. Is he big? I can't tell. Oh, no. Okay. That was such an awkward like hook set and everything. Smallest fish today, officially. Did you hear what I said? I said officially, buddy. All right, smallest one today. He's a little fat. Like that small one in the other pond was definitely bigger, but this fish was fatter. But that is one fish. Something is on fire because it smells like straight bonfire. Right now. 